Hi, this is Mr. Bouton, and uh, I wanted to go over how to write an absolute value equation to find the distance between two points that are on a coordinate plane. Uh, my previous video just looked at a number line, so now I just wanted to show you what it looks like on a coordinate plane. And so I'm showing you a coordinate plane here with two sets of points here, A, B, a, point A and point B, and then there's also point G and point H right here. So we'll do these two examples. They're a little bit different. And um, so we'll take a look at how to set up our equation. So we can tell pretty easily the distance between A and B. I mean, we could count, you know, count these spaces right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know there's six between A and B, but the question is, how do you write the equation and do the math to figure that out? And that's what we want to look at right now because there's going to be times when we are not looking at this coordinate plane. You know, this is going to be this is going to be covered up and we won't be able to see behind it or we'll only be given these two points and that's it. So we're not looking at it. So we do need to know how to just look at these two points on here and then write it. Um, the key fact to note is we're using absolute value. We're using the distance from zero. So um, what you could do is just start off. I know I'm going to put two numbers in these absolute value symbols. A number goes here and a number goes here, and I'm either going to add or subtract. So I'm just going to write both of them here just so you can. We're either adding or subtracting these to find the distance. And so let's, um, what we can take a look at this just to kind of think it through. These two points have x and y values, right? Every point has an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And we want to use the points or the, the coordinates that are different. So let's examine just the y or the x coordinate. So we have negative 7 and negative 7, which kind of makes sense because these both, both points, every point, every point along this, every point even down here, they all have the same x coordinate, right? They're all right here. You know, if we were to any point along this yellow line, if we started at the origin, we would have to walk or move across the x-axis to negative 7. So all of these points have the same x value. So the, and we can see that we don't have to look at the coordinate plane here. We can see that in the points, negative 7 and negative 7. So we don't want to use the numbers that are the same we want to use the two values that are different. And in this case, positive 7 and positive 1. So those two are the points, the two y coordinates. So here's like positive 7, you know, that's where that point is on the y axis, and then a positive 1 along the y axis uh, are those two points. So that's what we want to write in our absolute value symbols, the 7 and the 1. Now the question is, do we add them or subtract them? Well, we you can review your rules uh, that we've learned before, and if they're both positive numbers, we want to subtract those two, okay? Because really what we're doing is saying, all right, A is 7 away from the axis, and B is 1 away from the axis, and they overlap each other. So we would subtract them to find out this distance between the A and the B. We subtract them to find that amount. So it, mathematically, it makes sense to subtract those. We're not like making up a rule just to be uh, difficult and make things complicated. So 7 minus 1, and there's our answer, 6. Notice the answer does not have absolute value symbols around it. We just say 6. That's it. It's 6 away, 6 units or 6 miles or 6 whatever. So that is that absolute value equation. Now let's do this one, and in this, this time let me just kind of cover this up. Let's not look at the coordinate plane. Let's just look at these two points right here. So the x values, we have negative 3 and positive 5. And then the y values are negative 4 and negative 4. So one of these values is different. <laughs> we want to use the different ones, right? We don't want to use the same one. So in this case, we are not using the negative 4. We're using the, the negative 3 and the positive 5. So let's set up 
our absolute value symbols. Now this is just kind of a fast way to do it. Just get our absolute value symbols in place. Let's put our two numbers that we're using. In this case, negative three here and negative five here. Doesn't make sense to use negative four and negative four because they're the same number. You know, so we use those two. Now the question is, do we add or subtract? Well, we know from our rules that if one is negative and one is positive, we would want to add them together. Okay, because they're on opposite sides of zero. One's in the negative and one's in the positive. So we would add them together to find the total. And so our total is eight. Just plain eight, no absolute value symbols in this case. We don't really know units, so we wouldn't say eight feet or eight miles or anything. And so you can see on our coordinate plane why we add, because point G, look how far it is from the Y axis, it's three away. Point H, look how far that is. It's five away. And look, they're side by side. So we would add them to find a total of eight units or eight uh, steps or something. So that's how we would use the absolute value equations when we're working on a coordinate plane or we're just looking at two points. Remember, we always use the, the values that are different from each other, either the 2x or the two y values. And that's it. Thank you.